Jim, boy. What's happened, you old rascal? Good to see you. How you doing, Eddie? I'm here. I guess they didn't find out about your police record, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Hold my calls, okay, Donna? Come on in, Jimmy. Not bad, huh? Not bad at all. <laughs> What do you have, Jimmy? You got any beer in there, hot shot? I got everything. I'll take a beer. One day I'm here, and already it hits the fan. You know that kid Carver, the one they signed from Penn State? Sure, the pullback. Right. Well, to celebrate his signing, we take him out to dinner last night. Concert room. Nice place. Well, halfway through dinner, Lansky and Meyer stopped by the table. Welcome the kid, the whole shot. Just before they get ready to leave, what do you think they tell a kid? Hey, what kind of card they get you? Just to break my stones, right? And I assume the kid knows they're screwing around, right? Right. Eight o'clock this morning, I get a phone call from his attorney, and he wants to know when the car's being delivered. Do you know that took me all morning to straighten that mess out? <laughs> I guess you didn't get a chance to talk to the main man then, huh? Jim, I already took care of that. It's in the bag. The only thing we have to discuss is a start date for you. Eddie, from training camp start next week? That's right. They start on the 7th. You know, I'd probably be most effective working with receivers. But whatever. I mean, even linemen. Jim, there's no question we all consider you a valuable asset to this team. But what we have in mind is more of a, well, that hell, you'll be looking at films to analyze. But, uh... For what? Heck, we haven't even figured out a title yet. You're going to be doing a lot of things. Scouting, public relations. You're going to like the salary, Jim. Not only that, they have a complete medical package that's probably the best in the country. What about coaching? I'm afraid that's just not in the cards, Jim. Why? I want to know why. Oh, Bradovich, we talked about coaching. Now, I want to know why. They, uh, I... They, they don't think you can cut it. You can't even say it. You know that's a lie. Now, what is it? Am I going to make some of the players a little uncomfortable? Is that it? Is that so unreasonable? The way the game is played today, it's a real concern to our players that they could wind up well, hurt and hurt bad. It doesn't do any good for them to constantly be reminded of it. Blinders for everyone, is that it? What does that have to do with coaching? It's bad for business. Jimmy, you and I both know that's the bottom line. We're running a major corporation here. You ought to be thankful we're offering you any kind of job at all. <sighs> Jimmy, we've been friends a long time. Please. Take the weekend. Think about it. I already have. You can take your PR job and shove it. Thanks for the beer, old Brad, bitch.
can tell Andy I want to go home before I leave for work. Which one is Andy ever home before you leave for work? Well, when do you start? The job, when do you start? I don't start. I turn it down. The Chicago Bears offered you a job and you turned it down. What were all the letters and phone calls? They offered me a public relations job. I'm a football player. I don't know the first thing about public relations work. They offered you a job, didn't they? You know what? You should worry less about me and more about that kid of yours. Look, as soon as Andy is through with school this year, I'm getting a place of my own. Good. I'll help you move. I find it interesting, though, that when your old man walked out on you and you weren't working and my VA check was paying for everything, you weren't talking about moving out then. Look, we didn't get along when we were kids, and we still don't. I thought at least you and Andy would hit it off. No, that isn't what you thought. You thought I'd take care of him. That is what you thought. So you could recapture your teenage years. But now you got a son, and he's holding you back. And guess what? I don't blame you. Look, why can't you take care of him? You got something better to do with your life? Why can't you give a little? Give a little? How much do you want me to give? What about these? How much do you want me to give? Mrs. DeFalco? Yes? I'm with the juvenile division. Are you Andrew DeFalco's mother? Is he all right? No, we have him in custody downtown at the juvenile detention center. He was arrested for armed robbery. Oh, my God. I tried to contact your father. I won't hold my breath waiting for him. I don't even know what to tell him. Tell him I'm sorry I didn't get away with him. How can you do this to me again? <laughs> Mrs. DeFalco, your attorney is here. I read the arresting officer's report. Not an easy situation to deal with. Sir, I still only think my nephew will be released. He's not going to be released. The boy's got priors. He's already in violation of his probation. They might want to try him as an adult. They can't. We'll try not to let that happen. But we're still looking at a major felony in which a gun was used. And that, plus the boy's prior arrest, usually means time in a state correctional institution. There are other alternatives. A lot depends on the judge. Now, given the right circumstances, the judge might be persuaded to release him into your custody again. Are you working, Mrs. DeFalco? Uh, I'm an airline passenger rep. Well, frankly, the boy's chances of being released in your custody would be greater if you weren't working. I mean, for a little while, anyway. I can't afford not to work. You have to look at this from the judge's point of view. The judge's point of view? It's my life, too. Where do I come in? We'll do everything we can. We can work this out. 
I don't want your help. I don't want to work it out. I want the state to take care of them. To have custody of them. I want them to. I can't handle him anymore, okay? I can't handle him. Do you understand me? I just can't do it. you got here. You're cute, all right. But you know something? As of two minutes ago, you just turned over a new leaf. Because the only person that makes trouble in this joint is me. Everything seems to be in order. We have a bunk for him in J Ward. Before you put this boy in population, make sure he doesn't have any rifles or hand grenades on him. with me. Not the way we do it. This is different. This is what we call a cavity search. This is it, sweet pea. My name is Andy. Whatever you say. Sweet pea. Now you just make up your bunk real nice. Because I'm going to be back to check in on you in a little while. Some dump, huh? That was McLeish. We call him the mouse. Gotta watch him, Jack. Really? Now, here I was thinking he was a nice guy. You're from Juvie Hall, right? Yeah, I can tell, man. You're from Juvie. Well, let me tell you something, Jack. That place is Disneyland compared to this hole. In this place, you do hard time. And I mean hard time. I thought visiting day was Sunday. After the 
the day it is, this is part of your orientation. Just like the first day of school. Well, you know, there are papers to be signed, things like that. So did you sign me in? Andy, I know I never gave you much of my time. But I really think I know how you feel right now. And you want to do something for me? Sure. Well, get me out of this dump. I can't. That's something you got to do for yourself. Just leave me alone. You never gave a damn about me when I was home. So what do you say we just leave it like that? And don't tell me. Let me guess. She couldn't make it because she had to work. Play much ball? No, nah, no, nah, I played baseball in college. Never really got into football. I'm just filling in. Those boys keep hitting like that, they're gonna get hurt. You know what to do if you don't mind me telling you? You should have them get under the opponent. Hit like this, keep their elbows in, otherwise they're gonna dislocate the shoulder. Hey, thanks. Okay. Hey, you guys, come in here a minute. You want the job? No, thanks. I want a coach, but not here. Are you here to see your nephew? Yeah. You? Why does counseling here? Is you any good? Sometimes. How'd it go with your nephew? Didn't. Hey, I wasn't kidding about that coaching job. If you didn't want to take it permanently, you could take a six-week temporary assignment. I've got a friend who's on the supervisory board, and I'm sure if you told him you wanted a job... But I don't. I could give it a push from my end as well. My boss does the hiring. Don't push, lady. Look, my nephew may be a part of your caseload, but I'm not. Whatever you want, sweetheart. <laughs> want to bet your house, your car? I can handle that too. I'm over here, don't worry. Just make sure I haven't got to come and find you, okay? Later. Hey, Jim, I've been waiting for you. Hey, is this guy a vodka and tonic? And bring me another one, too. And hold my call. What are you so cheerful about? Cheerful? Well, my customers caught the double at Arlington today. It was a big one. And both of the bums had a 50 on it. I'm talking about being cheerful. So what happened? They backed out. They offered me a job in the public relations department. Good money? What do I know about public relations? I'm a coach. Give the vet a break time. They jerked me around, Eddie. Listen, how do you think I feel? I go out and order a new caddy on the cup. Drink with all this inside information you're gonna get. You cost me, man. <laughs> I thought it was going to be different this time. I really did. You got to expect this kind of thing from these able-bodied dummies. You know that. Oh, please. Come on, Eddie. You sound like some VA constant. What am I supposed to do? Accept it? No. You keep swinging. Hey, you know what we can do? We can go up to the vet's house. We'll get some of the guys together. We'll go throw a picket line around this place. Couldn't you see it? They're called gimp the mania. <laughs> Gimptomania. That's not the only team you know. This was my shot. There'll be other shots. Yeah, sure. Like St. Charles Correctional. You know what they did? They offered me a job as athletic director. Babysitting for a bunch of juvenile delinquents. Who needs that? I may be in a chair. But I'm still a man. I want to be treated like a man. Listen, pal, the hell with them. Stay home. They did this to you. Let the government take care of you. Let them pay. The 
temporary athletic director and he's here. Well, he's probably some assemblyman's nephew. I hope this is not some child molester. He's, uh, he's in a wheelchair. What's he trying to do to me? Well, Mr. Brandon, haven't I seen you here before? Probably. My nephew's one of your students, Andy DeFalco. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm afraid there's been some mix-up about this job. You mean the job's been filled already? Well, I don't know what they sent you down here for, but the only job I have open is that of temporary athletic director. It's not an office job. Athletic director's the job I applied for. Well, it's not going to work out. You see, I'm, I'm very short on staff, and I, I don't have the time to train you. I'm not asking you to train me. Now, let me rephrase that. I'm not asking you to do anything special for me, Mr. Turner. You're not. You gotta understand, this is not some Sesame Street playground we're running here. I understand what we're talking about. I took special education courses in college. <laughs> you think that means anything to these kids here? The only way you're gonna gain their respect is if you're capable of dropping them in their tracks. I thought we were out of the dark ages a long time ago. Mr. Fanny, you should know what we're dealing with here because of Andy. Uh, before a kid makes a state institution like this, He's already been arrested 10 or 12 times. And that's not for shoplifting, either. When you're alone with these kids, you're in physical danger. And so is everyone else. If that's what it is, then that's what it is. You take on these kids, you're asking for trouble. You're wrong. I already have trouble. And the only thing that makes it worse is people making more of me being in this wheelchair than is really necessary. I'm just not getting through to you, Emma. I'm afraid you're a little late. You see, I didn't want this job. But now I'm committed to it for six weeks. Goodbye, Mr. Turner. aren't you? Oh, you supposed to be Joe Volunteer or something? I'm on the payroll. I'm your athletic director. Well, that's gonna work out just right. Because as far as I'm concerned, give me the ball. you're no different from the rest of the creeps that run this place. I said give me the ball, I man. don't see your name on it. Well, I'll show it to you. You two just earned yourself some room time. Here. First, you got to get their attention. That's all right, sweet life. You got the best of them. care of myself, sweetheart. <laughs> I can dig it. Show us my uncle work here. Give me some weekend passes. <laughs> he bringing me some reefer, you know what I mean? <laughs> he tuck you in, man. What's going 
going on here? The table fell. Peanut, what are you doing back here? Grand Theft Auto. You can hardly see over the steering wheel. I had a partner. I steered, and he worked the pedals. I mean, we was a team. Until they nailed us. How are you doing, Andy? He's got his uncle here to take care of him. That's how he's doing. And you wonder why you get into fights all the time. Look, baby, I'm just telling you like it is. All right, Paul, to be slang. Who want in? You can't fight the whole world, sweet life. Don't you know that? I get the ranges to take care of him and his uncle. Already lost a lot of privileges. Now, who's the loser? The loser's the one who don't get up off the floor. And what if it's you? Well, then that's one more dead nigga in this world, and that won't make much more of a difference, will it? I know you don't mean that. I don't? Well, look, baby, I started out a long time ago as a loser. You know what I am? I'm a seven letter word. Mistake. Let's get right down to it, all right? You want to get down? Let's keep it on quiet, gentlemen. You get in, take your shower, and get out. It's not a swimming pool. Anybody who doesn't wash his hair sees the barber. Hey, goat. <laughs> you going to give me some booty after a while? <laughs> How about it? We got some unfinished business. You got to show some respect, bro. So how about you make up my bed right now? How about you take this pipe? Go ahead, man. It ain't over. I mean, sometime you're gonna have to sleep. And when you do, I'm gonna bury my shoe in your face. Yeah. Take this brother out trying to be mean. This child is fierce. All right, party's over. I want everybody in their bunk in two minutes. Try very hard. I was there all day. I got that transfer. I start at Miami International Airport tomorrow. The girl whose job I'm taking is getting married, and I got her apartment too, so I really lucked out. And along with that transfer, I got a raise. But of course, I guess it's because I'll be working with the worst kind of pastor problems, like when they get bumps and fights and things. You don't waste much time, do you? What's that supposed to mean? I applied for this transfer weeks ago, and you know that. It's funny how things work out sometimes, isn't it? Marissa says it's probably a good thing that he got caught at this stage. They change so easily. How is he? Is he doing well? Andy? Oh, Andy's fine. He's doing just fine.
leave. Way to play that D. Let me have it. You did next time, son. I said, let me have it now. You just earned yourself some room time. Now, the rest of you, when I say I want this ball, I don't want to wait. I'm going to teach football. Where are you going? I already know how to play football. I didn't say anything about playing. I said teach. I teach, you learn. I'm your coach. Yeah? But then what are you doing in a place like this? Yeah! yeah. 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 Okay, you. So why don't you just lighten up and give up the ball? Wheel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not all of you have earned some room time. Now get over there and form two lines. That's the way to stick. That's the way. This dude is crazy if he thinks he's gonna keep this up. You got any suggestions? you guys to get out of line. Get back in line! You know what I said? I said, get back in line! Anyone that doesn't want to participate will be assigned field maintenance. Cutting the grass, painting, that sort of thing. That's what the worry is or something, man. Yeah. Take it any way you want. Those of you who want to make the team, 10 a.m. sharp. Now, back to the room. Oh, Makes you feel good all over doing something for these kids. So appreciative. I don't need this lumber boy. Get back, man. Stay away. They're going 
gonna get you! Fight the end there. Every time one of these kids gets out on the court, he comes back loaded. And what? You name it. PCP, I'd guess. Rats! Get away! Please! All right, now you might call the devil. All right, you're going to the sea ward. What's the sea ward? CRMD, man. Crazy rats in the sky. It's bad news. Once you go there, you don't come back the same. Rats, man, rats. The police. Give me the key. Get my butt in a sling over that little space cadet? No way. The code says CRMD, and that's where he's going! No uh, uh, about that code. Uh, Give me the key! Uh, get away from me! Just get away and leave me alone, damn it! Uh, get away! Leave me alone! Get away from here, they're gonna get you! Hector. Oh, me, coach, take it easy. They're all out of that damn place! Take it easy. Just keep them away from me, please! Take it easy. They're gonna get me! They're not gonna get you. They're not gonna get you. Take it easy. Look at them! Where are they? They're over there! Boys ready to play football? We figure it's better than cutting the grass. Get to it. Yeah, yeah. Come on, man. Get to it. Hey! All right, way to catch. Good hands, man. Way to catch. Looking good, Hector. Looking good. Down. Come on, if you can touch it, you can catch it. No kidding, coach. Come on, hustle back here. Don't you walk back. Hustle back. They got the shirt. Oh, coach, this is so sudden. I didn't know. Yeah, yeah man. Oh, oh, man. Oh. All right, come on. You guys got to receive. Get down there. A little two-handed touch. Touch, you guys. Come on. This is it, guys. Maximum security area. Right, Warden Turner? Superintendent. This is a maximum security cell. It is only used when someone is beyond the control of the staff and extreme corrective action is necessary. This is where you give them bread and water? <laughs> we don't do that here, kids. I said this was two-handed touch. All right, huddle up again. Call another place. Okay, let's play some secret. 
Jim Brandon, this is Mr. Forrester, a teacher with the uh, Mount Class Group of Boys. How do you do? We have what you might call a scared straight type program at Mount Clair. Get the boys out into the world. Show them what it's like. Dad! Over! Hey, nice hands, Love huh? the hands. How about that pass? No wonder one of these guys are locked up. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, see how funny you think it is when I stick my foot in your mouth. Yeah. 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 Let's go back to the bus, boy. Hey, let's go back to the bus. Yeah. 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 Be cool, be cool. What, are we just going to let them chumps get away with yeah, them? Don't even think yeah. about it. Give me that ball. All right, five laps. Five, you better go on. Get out of here. Hey, Mr. Forrester. Jim Brandon, right? I thought I recognized you. I was a big fan of yours when you were with the Bears. You do volunteer work here? No, no. I'm full-time coach here. I coach these kids from Montclair. Last year, we were undefeated. Great-looking bunch of boys, aren't they? Does that excuse them for making fun of my guys today? Oh, that. They didn't mean anything by that. How about a game? A game? Football. Your boys against mine next Saturday, right here. You can't be serious. My boys won their division last year. It's too ridiculous, really. We'll see about that next Saturday, Coach. <laughs> ben, are you kidding? No, no, I'm not kidding. You're going to play them Saturday. Oh, well, all right. We'll wipe the clean off of them dudes. Yeah. 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 They're going down for the count. Huh. <laughs> hey, that one kid with the blonde hair, don't anybody get him because he's mine. Oh. Hey, now, wait a minute. Number one, no one is going to get anyone. We're playing football. Number two, these guys practice all the time. They're good. Yeah? Well, good ain't making it, Wills, because we're going to be dynamite. Yeah. Hey, dynamite. Who's in charge of the equipment? <laughs> Where you been, brother? No equipment. Oh, sorry, sir. <laughs> Hi, Eddie. Hey, Jim. I think I used to fly one of these things. You say we go to track this afternoon. I think I got something in a second. No, no, I can't, Eddie. I gotta get the team ready for Saturday. The team? For the bunch of little punks, now it's the team. You know what you ought to do? You ought to show them how to do that sometime. I bet they'd really enjoy it. Yeah, they'd love it, especially the glue. Eddie, um... I need equipment for the football team. How much? The whole team. We're in the back room. I got shelves full of football equipment. Take whatever you need. No, no. Look, I'm serious. Oh, what do I look like? A sporting goods store? All right. I know this kid. He's a degenerate gambler. He's with me for a big price. Anybody else would have sent him out for a long lunch by now. His old man owns a sporting goods store. I'm not going to allow it. Well, I'm committed to it. Well, you just have to call it off. What is wrong with this school playing another school? You see that barbed wire? Does that look like a school? This is an institution. These boys have been working hard, and they deserve a chance to play. Kids, huh? You see that little doll in Sweet Life? He's headed for a hard time. When he leaves here, he's going to Sheridan. When he leaves Sheridan, he's going to Joliet. And your own nephew, God bless America on him, arrested 12 times before his 13th birthday. Let's not forget Hector. You don't need to teach him how to hit. He hit every liquor store in the south side. You want to bring another team in here? Hector! Good catch, Hector! That's the way! Good hands, man! Listen, as coach of this team, I think I ought to be able to make that decision. Is that right? All right, I'm going to let you learn the hard way. I'm also going to let you do all the paperwork. Fine. Who's get those helmets? Donation. 
Regulations say donations must go through proper channels. More paperwork. I'm going to let you do that, too. Fine. All right, you guys, that's it for the day. Ten laps and hit the shower. Good day. Where are you going? I hurt my leg, Coach. Oh, that's too bad. You won't be able to play in the game Saturday. Ten laps, sweetheart. Undefeated. Hey, forget about their record. You guys are undefeated, too. We beat somebody I don't know about? <laughs> <laughs> All right, get out there and play football. Go, go, go. One, two, three. Okay, St. Charles, call it. Heads. Make sure it doesn't have two heads, ref. Tails. We'll receive. So it looks more like a hubcap.
What you groaning about, Chump? It's just a game. I hurt my ankle, that's all. That's right. Tear it down. You guys are really fantastic. You're not a team. You know what you are? You're a mob! We got a few licks in, Coach. Are you guys proud of that? What about all that training? What about the game? What about the way we knocked them on their butt? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah we could have beat them if we wanted to. No, we couldn't. You don't win football games by breaking heads. That isn't what it takes. Well, you ain't got what it takes either. Else you wouldn't be here, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah you're a loser same as us. You said you wanted to play football. I thought we were a team. No, man, you said we wanted to play football. That right. game was for you. Only no, you no. Right. Right. It was just your show pony, man. Yeah, yeah. Right. 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 You threw us to the lions, man. Why? Because I thought I could pull you boys together. So you'd know what it's like to play as a team, what it means. Well, that's your college stuff, man. Maybe great for them punks. But that doesn't mean a thing to us, because we ain't going nowhere. That's yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Maybe all you boys aren't going nowhere. Why don't you just go coach them outsiders, Will? They did all that job. Yeah! yeah. doing your Monday morning post-game critique? Watching game films, discussing key plays, that sort of thing? Huh? Well, I can't say that I blame you. What do you want, Turner? Well, you know that fella, uh, what's his name, Forrester, their coach? He's mad. He called me there. You want to know what he said? What is it? He said he blames you personally. And that his team is a disaster area. Oh, and McLeish. Said the team doesn't want anything to do with him. McLeish has got a big mouth. You want something to worry about? You worry about McLeish. Yeah. Well, we hadn't met the civil service. He'd been gone a long time ago. But look, the point is, you had the misfortune of picking the worst group imaginable. Now, forget who talked you into this. That's not important. I've got an opening in records. You can finish out your six weeks there. I'm a coach, not a file clerk. <laughs> Start on our defense. Not that our offense is any better, but we got to start someplace. What for? What for? The rematch. That's what for. You guys proved they could beat you. Now let's prove we can beat them. Hey man, we tried that once. It didn't work. You got that right. We only got one chance. That's to fight our way out from under. We ought to start at Montclair. Let's go there. Let's beat them there like they beat us here. Now what do you say, guys? I tell you what, Wheels. I think it's worth a shot. I'd like to get down on our freckle-faced friends. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we can whip right. them just like they whipped us. Right. Hey, I'd go in with a shot. All right. All right. All right, you guys. Let's get out there and let's get to work. Yeah. All right. All right. 
I'd like you to meet Coach Forrester. It's a pleasure to meet you. Your team looks very impressive. Just what is it I can do for you, Mr. Brandon? I'd like to arrange another meeting between our two teams. After what happened the other day? No, this is different. This is for charity. It's a benefit for the underprivileged children's fund. Mrs. Stanton is in charge of the event. It's their big annual fundraiser. Dean Stanton's wife? Yes, Mrs. Stanton. Just when did you say this game was going to be played? Two weeks from this Saturday. It's a pleasure to meet you. How did you know that Dean Sam's wife was the head of the underprivileged children's fund? She's not. <laughs> he doesn't know that. There's something the matter with your head. Are your brain damaged or something? I want to know. It was the only way we could get the game. Do you realize what kind of a security problem you're talking about? I'll take the responsibility. It's not yours to take. The state has something to say about it. I just want to play a football game. I don't want to change the Constitution. Do you know why they put fences around this place? It's not to keep people out. It's to keep people in. That's why an institution of this kind does not take the population to picnics or ball games because it's a problem. I've got 12 pages of directives and regulations governing transportation to take one kid on a morning hospital visit. This game means something to these kids. Pulling together for this game can prove to them that they've got a chance, that they don't have to be in institutions like this for the rest of their lives. They don't give a damn about this game. The only thing on their mind is hitting that blacktop. Tell me, mystery burgers again? Oh, we're on quiet, gentlemen. Now, if you're not hungry, just say so, and we'll fix you up with a little kitchen duty. Sit down. I was watching you help the other guys today. I want you to know I really appreciate it. Every team needs a national leader, someone to spark on the other guys. 
Yeah, well, you know, we gotta get ready for the big day. All right. This food ain't helping much, though, I'll tell you that. Third time this week they give us this job. I'll look into it for you. I think the idea is you'll never remember any of the counseling. But if the memory of that food stays with you, you won't be back. Mm -hmm. Well, that's fine if you're here for a week. But they want to keep me here for a long haul. Attempted murder and all. I tried to kill my mother with a golf club. She was so smacked up. She started pulling my sister's hair and beating her up. Because she wouldn't stop crying. For all I know, she could have killed her, you know. Somehow, hearing my sister crying, it made it worse than if it was happening to me. That wasn't so hard, was it? Why do I have to do this? I'm going to be a boxer like the Ren. Boxers don't need this junk. You do care about staying on the team, don't you? Yeah. Get to it. That's a two. Pizza and soft drinks, huh? You buy that for them with your own money? I didn't buy it for you, McLeish. That's for damn sure. Where are my boys? In the day room? The whole damn backfield. Thanks. Well, all right. Let's get them by the door before we get cold. Hey, wait a minute. These guys been working? Very hard. All right. Yeah, well, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. All right. Well done. Yeah, don't take them off, man. Hey, coach, you think there's going to be any scouts at the game? What for? The pros. I'm ready. Hey, where's Andy? Uh, in the dorm, I think. Sweet, let's go get him. That is Andy's. But everybody knows Andy don't like pizza. Who said he don't? He told me. Hey, man, there's pizza outside. Not interested. What's wrong with you? Nothing. Well, what's that nothing you just put under your pillow? This. Just a letter from my old lady. Found herself an airline pilot. He wants to marry her. Not bad, right? I mean, uh, those guys make a lot of bread. Guy drives a vet. He's got his own boat. He lives in California with his three kids. I mean, it sounds like a nice family. Almost forgot. She says she hopes and prays that I'm getting along okay. Hey, man, pizza's getting cold. Let's go. <laughs> hey, Andy, saved you some pizza. You eat it. Say what? It's mine? All right. <laughs> that was terrible. Oh, man. Hey, Andy, what are we doing in the room? I had to get something ready for class tomorrow. You need any help? Sure. <laughs> I got this feeling inside like I used to have when I was playing ball just before a game. Butterflies. Feels good. I haven't had it for a long time. I've been faking it for a lot of years. 
I like watching you tonight. It was like being part of a family. You know, for a long time, I never thought I was going to be a part of anything. I was numb for a year after it happened. But it took me another year to make my mind up whether I wanted to go on or not. Oh, Marissa, was I angry? I wouldn't listen to anything. I want these boys to know that they've got a chance. That's why this game is so important. And it's important to me to know that I can give these boys that chance. Welcome home. Come on! Way to go! All right! What in the hell was that? You don't tell those boneheads to block, they're gonna get the quarterback killed. I called for a defensive blitz. Okay, you guys, come on, hustle up, hustle up. Come on, hustle in here. I want to thank all of you for a good day. There'll be no laughs today. All right. All right. Tomorrow, it's going to be for real. All right, listen up. I want to see you all upstairs now. All right, who's do this? Yeah, it's this. Hey. Oh, what's going on? We didn't do nothing. All right, all right, hold it down. Move on a little bit. Give me some room. There you go. Don't just stand there. Open them up. All right. All right. All right. Okay, you're the coach. Take them down the locker room and have them out. I ain't never wore a real uniform before. <laughs> and you never will again if there's any funny business out there tomorrow. I guarantee it. And don't you guys get the idea I did this because I'm crazy about you. Because I'm not. You'll be representing this institution tomorrow. I want you to look presentable. Twenty-two of you are leaving for the football field. And twenty-two of you are coming back. You got it? Yeah. Yeah. You got it? Yes, yes sir! sir!
afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Montclair Stadium for today's game between Montclair and the visiting team, St. Charles. First, I'd like to introduce last year's defending champions, the Montclair Vikings. Number 44, Richard Marks. Number 10, Guy Massey. Number 5, Glenn Lundstrom. Number if you need me, I'll be right here. So, are they all ready? They're ready. Number 82. They're going to get their butts kicked. We'll see. One false move, and I'll send them all back to the box. Hey, hey, that blonde, man. She wants me. <laughs> it looks like they sinked out on you. Don't worry, man. The Rangers will be here. Yeah, we'll see. And now the starting lineup for St. Charles. Number 12, Monroe Johnson. Number 24, Hector Estrada. Number 84, Andy DeFalco. And number 22, Happy Peanuts Rodriguez. Number 33, Mark Pruitt. Number 35, Calvin... How you doing, Coach? Number 16, Jeff Diaz. Number 41, Bernard Gale. Good with a bunch of points you got there. Thank you. How do you think you're going to do this afternoon? Five, well, let me put it this way. The last time these two teams met, my guys won 28 to nothing. 80, me, myself, I like the underdogs. Would you like to place a little money on your team? Sure. It's a ridiculous bet, of course, but if you've got a few dollars you want to throw away, it's like money in the bank. Shall we say uh, 500? All right. What's happening, brother? All right. All right. <laughs> White, your pole to toss. Tails. Tails is, you win. We'll receive. Telling you, man, that chick digs me. Never mind that now. Get back in here. What are you in for? Murder, chump. How long? I do. Get 
in there for him. All right, get in there for him. You all right? All right, sit down on the bench. All right, come on, St. Charles. Hey, none of that fighting stuff. All right, that's it. I'm gonna punch that number 22 right upside his head. Then yeah. maybe he'll pick on somebody yeah, his own right. size. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey, no, 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 we can't do that, brothers. But we can run a play to his side. Uh, quarterback sweep left on two. Everybody, quarterback sweep left on two. Ready? There's no question we can beat these guys. It's scoring on them that's the problem. Right, yeah. 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 Five forty-one long. Hector up the middle. Right here. Some oranges. All right. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. great. Yeah. Right over here. Yeah. 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 you're looking good, man. Wow. Jim, I gotta talk to you. In a minute, Eddie. You guys want me to send in defensive plays? Is that what you want? No. Uh, Washington, you my linebacker? Yes, How about you, Mark? No. Okay. We'll get to that quarterback, will you? Yeah. We'll okay. Take care of Good second half. I think you got some trouble. Those are the Rangers over there. And they're not here because they like charity events. I think they're here to spring your boys. Nah, you gotta be wrong, Eddie. I'd love to be wrong, believe me. But what if I'm right? I just bet Mr. Personality over there five hundred dollars that your team was gonna win. What are you gonna do? What am I supposed to do? Tell Turner? He'll call the game. I'm gonna bet they don't run. I think it's five to one against you. Bad bet. Start of the second half. Montclair is elected to receive. The ball's in the air, and the second half is underway. 
takes off his jacket, that's the signal.
or something. We could beat these suckers. Hell, ten more months isn't that long. Let's do, do it. <laughs> Knock your teeth out. Somebody died a long time ago. You don't want to have to worry, Pop. Come on. Hush up. Hush up. Hush up. Hush up. Hush up. Should we go for the first down, coach? No, no, no. Go for it, Hector. Get some blocking. Tell them the blocking for you. Go on. Watch me go. Here we go. Third down. Ready, play. All right. Go. Go. Okay, ready, go. We're gonna win this game. That's what we're gonna do. Ready? Ready! Come on, boys, you're gonna do it. Ready, do! Set! long enough to throw the ball because you were out of position. I had to wait a year for you to get open. Hi. Hi. My school's having a party this Saturday. Would you like to go? I'd love to, but uh, I can't. Oh? Maybe some other time. When? How about 1982? It's running, doesn't it? Yeah, I guess. I don't know how I'll feel about it tomorrow. How's it feel? You okay? Yeah. You sure? Well, I was just thinking. You'll be leaving and it's just lousy and we won't be seeing you again. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. Uh, Coach, I, uh, well, I just wanted to say that we couldn't have done it without you. And, uh, and that 
Well, Game, bro. 